Previously on Blues and Bullets. Do I know you from someplace? Me? No. But you do know my boss. You should be rotting in jail. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Carlo Baccarini. Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Is that our man? We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're Osmond Burke, right? Who wrote this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? It's going to be tonight. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. I'm Osmond Burke. And I have an appointment with your boss. Down, up, down, up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Blues and Bullets. This is episode two, part one. The winner of the giveaway, though, JT Beats. I sent you a private message. Send me an email so I can send you your gift card out. Shit got crazy last episode at the end. The last part I put out was 50 minutes. Dude jumped up out the closet, scared the hell out of me. Let's continue where we left off, though. The last part we finished, we were on the boat. What? All right. Come inside if you like. Strange tent for Christmas week. Is this shit out of order? Here I'm waiting. Don't sound like she's trying to get nasty. I ain't shy. Shit. Tell your fortune, young man. I don't think it'll be good, but go ahead. Oh, I see success at work. Very soon. Probably the last in a long time. That's enough for me. You just made my day. Hmm. In that case, I'd better not tell you how the affair with that married woman is going to go. What? How do you know? 
is better if I don't tell you. And that's all we're going to talk for now. You may leave now. I feel someone is waiting for you. Whoa, that was intense. Okay, good thing she was the person we was going on a date with. That bitch is crazy. Everyone's so excited about the new waterfront. It'll attract the tourists, it'll bring new life to Santa Esperanza. But if we don't get Capone, he'll make sure that it will only bring more death. Okay, so I, I feel like this is some type of flashback again or something like that because it wouldn't make sense with the timeline. For us to start here, considering what we left off in the last episode. You playing hopscotch? Hold on, let me see how he worked up. I ain't impressed, you, you ass, boy. All right, let me check out these other spots before we go inside the building. If I'm gonna buy something, it better be something for Delphine or Claire. We just checking out everybody, guys. Hang tight, fam. Any luck? They biting? Yeah, I've been after this old bastard for months. A giant sea bass, wicked as they come, sharp as a razor, the spawn of Satan himself. But every day he comes a little closer to the hook. I'm gonna land that son of a bitch eventually. Why am I telling you this? I bet you don't know shit about fishing. Hey, come on, man. You're right. I haven't fished since I was a kid. But if it's so enormous, are you sure you can land it? Screw you, Satan. Of course I can. The hard part is getting him to bite. And to do that, I need you to shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> now beat it. Go screw yourself. Well, okay. You ain't got to be like that, though, sir. Fuck you, man. Disrespectful old bastard. Look at my lady. Hey there. Shall we walk? I hope someday we can walk arm in arm. Was it hard to get away? Not really. I told Martha I had to check out a tip-off. In fact, it's true. That's exactly what Jim told me. On Strawberry Avenue, right? I left him in charge. It's a routine check. I'm sure it's nothing. At the most, some kind of abandoned bootlegger still. O'Reilly and DiPietro are with him. Even Garrison joined them to stretch his legs and take a break from the leads in the accounting book. Are you certain there's no danger? Absolutely. You can always pick up some extra information, maybe a lead or two, but it's the dullest part of our work. Besides, I had to see you. These last months haven't been easy. We barely see each other. We're drifting apart and... I can't allow this to end badly. This isn't right. If we go on, I'm gonna end up hating you. I, I think I already do almost as much as I hate myself. Delphine. Goddamn fish! Before, I had you as a way of escaping from Jim. But since you began this crusade against alcohol... Against Capone. Damn you to hell, Satan! Ever since you dragged Jim into these untouchables of yours, Jim Dockers is the best cop in Santa Esperanza, and the most honest. You sent him out on a raid so you could see his wife, Elliot. How can you look him in the face after that? I'll tear out your liver, you unholy abomination. Hey, Elliot, you, you, you come on, man. You smashing somebody's, her, that's the dude's wife? Oh, man. 
It's not his face I care about, Delphine. When I'm with him, he only talks about you, and, and now you only talk about him? It was you who... You! You screwed everything up, can't you see that? I'll rip your scales out one by one, with my fucking teeth! That wasn't my intention, Delphine. Please, baby! I'm sorry. Please! You don't have to be. There's nothing to be done. It's over. This shit is over, bitch! What? Oh, yeah. What I'm you gonna mean? Cut you up and just chop you in a little. Will you shut up? We're having a conversation. Me, bitch. No, I'm not gonna shut up until I've landed that son of a bitch. Do you want a Christmas punch in the square? Come on. Tell me it's over. Don't tell me it's over, baby. <laughs> I'm serious. When I cast the line, the hook got caught round the back in my pants. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just on the seam. You know where. Ripped it right open. <laughs> tell me there was no one behind you. Well, of course there was. The girl I was trying to impress. And her father. And the rest of her family. <laughs> Imagine the scene. There I was, shorts on display. What can I get for the happy couple? Two glasses of Christmas punch, please. Coming right up. With or without alcohol. Without, please. Well, of course. Besides, we don't serve alcohol here. No sirree. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. Oh, shit. I think Jim suspects something. I don't think so. He's far too honest to suspect me. Elliot, we have to stop seeing each other. It won't be such a big change. Damn, son. I think it's best if we break it off. Jim needs me. Your priority is your work, and I don't see any other way. Hey, yeah, we could just run off like a bitch. All I'm asking for is patience. I'm about to wipe out Capone. We got his accounting book. Garrison is sifting through it. As soon as he ties up a couple of loose ends, we can haul him in for tax evasion. Santa Esperanza will be free, and so will we. What if it takes time to tie up those loose ends? What's the difference? We agreed to carry on until Claire grew up, and that's still a long way off. Time's on our side, and then... What? And then what? If you put Capone away, you'll, you'll find another crusade? Another obsession? Another reason nobody can get close to you? I don't know you anymore, Elliot. You really are untouchable. And I am Jim Docker's wife. Besides, if I want to study medicine, I'm gonna need time. I can't steal it from my family. I know, and I support you, but... Two glasses of Christmas punch for the happy couple. The fuzz really screwed up this time, huh? What do you mean? Can't you hear the sirens? On the radio, they're saying four cops got pumped full of lead. Not that I'm glad to hear it, of course. Where? On Strawberry Avenue, I think. No. No, no, no! Jim! Wait! What? Man, nah. We can't show up together. I'll see you later. Oh my god. Jim. <laughs> Elliot. You ain't shit. You ain't shit, bruh. Lord Jesus. You just 
sit down and you need to f finish them beverages, though. It looks like someone said something they shouldn't have. Whiskey. A bottle. Now. We don't serve alcohol here, sir. At the Tipsy Mermaid, we have the greatest respect for the law. You took delivery of 12 cases on Wednesday night. Bring me a bottle, or I'll make sure you rot in jail for the rest of your sorry little life. One bottle of whiskey coming right up. He should have called him an asshole at the yes. end. O'Reilly. De Pietro. Dockers. Sit down. Garrison. O'Reilly. De Pietro. Dockers. I guess those are the four police that that okay. <laughs> King Negro. Theseus is my bodyguard, and he's a good one. I always choose the best. Especially when I'm traveling with a heavy load. Jesus Christ, Berg. You're a mess. I'm delighted I finally get to meet the star of the news rings. Although I won't be able to say I saw your face. Will you be like that for long? Doctor doesn't dare give me a date. I have to see him every 15 days. Every 15 days? Is he your doctor or your mistress? <laughs> Follow Eichenkov. Who's this dude with this skull helmet on? Damn! He bigger than you! He bigger than my black brother! This dude with the skull uh, mask. His helmet is big as shit. Really, the dog's life, Burke. The life of God a damn. dog. Politicians steal. Judges are crooked. Storekeepers overcharge you. Do they have to change their faces? No. These are honorable members of society. Unbelievable. Oh, uh, maybe they're about the same size. 
Damn, man, how tall is these dudes, man? Look at this shit. Christ, you can't even feel secure in your own face. The dog's life being a criminal. You know what I'd like to be? A boxer. <laughs> I had promised, but... Uh, what the hell is that? That is my bodyguard. But he knows how to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> Theseus, but you won't deny that your man is spectacular, to say the least. Bah, a grateful custom. Boccherini and I... By the way, he gave you your new papers, didn't he? He was a little late with the handover, so to make up for it, he invited me to that pigsty he calls home. He did? He never used to be late with a job. He's so decrepit he can't even control his farting, the filthy bastard. I don't know if it's his age or what it is, but I don't think he's at his best. In any case, he came up with the goods, and I have my papers. Right. This way. He don't believe what I'm saying. She's about to go left again, I can feel it. Bluffing again. Did he play poker? Son of a bitch. It's called a poker face, you amateurs. Well, well, well. Here we are. I admire you. I admire you. You got balls on you. Like two left hooks. A chick turns you down. You fuck her anyway. Your family turns you in? So, second smiles all round. Your face on the front pages? You get yourself a new one. <laughs> That's the way I am. I wouldn't have gotten this far if I were a fussy man. Duh. A ruthless capitalist. But you're even worse. <laughs> <laughs> Why's that piece of shit laughing? Theseus. <laughs> Look at his face. Uh, you'll find a good beating, does the trick. Wait. I know that face from somewhere. You do? Yes. Where the hell do I know it from? Ah, doesn't matter. I don't spend much time with living Negroes. <laughs> so, you come to me from Vermont to spend a million fucking dollars on such unique merchandise. Why? What are you going to do with it? You got me intrigued, you know. If you need to know before you can do the deal, I'm afraid that my million dollars and I will have to walk out the way we came in. Okay, okay. I don't need to know. You pay me, I hand it over. That's the way we do these things. By the way... It's about to go down, yo. I'm telling you. What? You think I'd fall for that? Son of a bitch! Bring it! Of all the men I have on Alligator 3, only he dares to touch it. The rest are terrified, bunch of faggots. Damn. That's just what I wanted to ask you about. Your bodyguard. What extra protection does he offer you? And against what? <laughs> Sly as a fox. The best thing about him is he isn't human. 
Well, he's human, but you understand me. I don't believe he can think or feel. If the latest rumors are true, it'll do me no harm to have him close by. He's back. Of course. Capone. Are you serious? You think he's a threat? Oh, you don't know him. How old is he? 80? A little over 60. But that's not the issue. He's Al Capone. He's like a retired boxer. All the technique, no reflexes. If he catches you off guard, you're dead meat. Stay on guard, and you'll take him out before he even sees you. And I think he's coming after me. I know there's more. Spill. You know? Did Boccarini tell you? I have my own sources. Is she here? Here? Yes. No, no. Yes. We emptied the cargo zone. So just... What? The cargo zone? Is that the kid who came to the diner? The cargo zone? Ah, Baccarini mentioned something. So you had dinner last night with Boccarini? Uh, yes. No. Of course, he probably cooked you his specialty. Huh? I don't know what you're talking about, man. He made lasagna, and I managed to get it down. But I doubt very much it's his specialty. Da, da. So, do you have the false papers he gave you? Just that with all this talk of him getting old, I'd like to see if he's lost his touch. Oh, Lord Jesus! Well, I'd show you, but I left them in the safe at the hotel. Ah, oh, my lies is unraveling right before our eyes, folks. I see. This just confirms my suspicions. You know, I fear you may have been robbed. It turns out they just found a body in a nice part of town. A recent suicide, it would seem. Apparently, he jumped from a high place. He landed feet first, and his thigh bones burst his lungs. But the face was intact. Well, that's a figure of speech. He had recently been operated on. And, to get back to the subject, in his pocket, he had the papers Boccarini gave to you.